Hey everyone, welcome to the video. So I've decided to put this video together because there aren't any videos on this online. I got uh, an effects card, an EB16, just last week. So I decided to actually make a video on it, showing you where to install it and show you what the effects card comes with. So I'm gonna go through the effects. I'll showcase the effects. Uh, I'll try to explain to you as best as I can how it works. So yeah, let's get into it. First of all, all you need to install the card is just a screwdriver so you can take the bottom panel of the MPC out. So just unscrew all the screws around the panel, push the panel out, and I have my card already installed, but I'll take it out and put it back in again. It's just super easy to install this effects card. So this is the card and this is the place where you install it. You just push it in. You don't need to push it too hard. It just falls in place really easily and you'll feel it once you push it in. So that's it, you just, so that's it. Once the card is put in, all you need to do, if you want, you can screw that. You'll have a little screw place for you to, to lock the card as well. Um, and then all you need to do is just put the bottom panel again, and that's pretty much it. That's There's nothing to it. Now, keep in mind that I got this for a relative low price, uh, more than half that I would pay if I was to ship this over to Portugal. I actually got it from a really good deal just from a city next to mine. A guy was selling his the guy was selling his S3000 Excel parts and he had the EB16. I was really lucky to find this guy selling this part. So I have everything set up. I'm just going to run you through the effects right now. Uh, just go into the mixer and right there uh, if you click on the effects edit you'll now see the the screen for the effects board so this works like return tracks they aren't called return tracks here but just so you understand a little bit better how this functions it's multi effects one multi effects two reverb one reverb two when you're in the mixer in the effects send screen you can choose where you want to send your sample to. In this case, I'm sending it to multi effects one, but you can send it to multi effects two, and you can send it to reverb one or reverb two. That's it, there aren't any other options, that's it. So for all the samples inside of your project, you have these four return tracks uh, to choose from. So you have to share the effects with the other samples. So I'm using this sample. Okay, and first of all, we're gonna use the distortion. So if you see that blue line right there, that's the signal path, and you can add effects to that signal path. That's how you turn the effects on or off. You have on or off. So this is off. Once you put it into the line, the sample goes through those effects that you have turned on and then it jumps onto the mix. It's pretty pretty simple, there's nothing to it. Okay, so the first, the first one we're gonna do is distortion. We just click on open window and then you'll see the settings for that effect. Okay, so this is distortion and the ring mod. You can uh, increase the level right there or lower the level. got depth for the ring mod. So you have the bypass right there so you can listen to the sound without any effects. If you turn it all the way down you'll create a wah-wah effect. We also have a solo button here on the side, which means you're gonna solo the effect of the chain. If we have other other effects, like let's say we have a delay in there as well, we can 
and so just one of these I'm gonna solo the delay there's another thing we have a mix here as well if you turn it on or off then you won't hear anything you break the signal path okay. inside the mix we have options as well we have a direct signal on or off what that does it allows the signal the original sample to be played alongside with the effects at the same time uh, It's useful for some situations, not so good for others. Uh, you have a patch here. This determines how the modulation is going to act before the reverb, af after the reverb. You have outputs in case you have the eight outs on the back of your MPC. You can uh, send the effect through those channels, but I'm just using the main outs here. You also have some options here on the side. So distortion and EQ are together and you can lower the level right there you can send it to a side as well you have panning for the effects so you can send it just for the right channel or for the left channel and you can have direct signal on If you see that now we have that uh, line on top that's because we changed the patch it's going to open that up let's go back into mod echo to reverb so that's the distortion I'm going to turn that off we're going to go into the filter my favorite because that allows the MPC to have a high pass filter the 2000 XL only comes with a low pass filter which sounds really good I really like it but there's no uh, control for high pass and this is as you see a four band filter here you can see that I have already a high pass actually I'm using a band pass right there I have my Q set to 14 I can open it up with a Q or I can close it just to affect the, the frequency that I want. Okay, and uh, so at this point, my MPC can create a high pass. This is one of the most important things about this uh, effects board is that you have this EQ. I'm gonna open this just to show you the effects modulation here. Going to increase the depth. turn that off let's go into the mod so phase shifter I'm gonna go into the mixer and here on the mod and the echo they share the same level same as distortion in EQ so the mod echo uh, you have we have a width here on the side but if we open it up we can hear the effect a lot better flanger then we have a chorus
Okay, let's jump on to rotary speakers. One thing I find about the modulation is that it helps you to create a stereo, uh, stereo image. So if you turn the speed to off, you won't get any modulation. But you do get your sample to open up and create a stereo image with that. So I think it's pretty cool to have that in there. And if you play with the depth, you'll find a point in the mix where the samples fit really well. Some auto pan basically ends up being the same. You can hear that stereo image in there a lot better now. It's pretty cool, man, especially for lo-fi where you want to, you know, distort everything a little bit. Plus, this is like this has this old vibe to it as well, which I find is, is it's super cool. Then we jump on to the pitch shifter. It's a good way for some samples for you to pitch the sample without it losing its length like you would in the warp function. But the sound isn't that good, so the quality isn't that good, but it will it will do that. It really depends on the sample as well, but yeah, you can uh, shift the pitch right here. And then we have this crazy pitch plus feedback as well. Uh, let's close that, turn that off. Let's go into the echo. So this is the delay. There really isn't much to talk about in here, it's just a delay. You have mono left and right, and then you have X over left and right. Stereo, and that's it. I find the sound of it really, really good. I really enjoy the sound. Now I'm gonna put uh, a filter at the beginning. So I'm using um, I'm using the high pass filter with a delay as well, and I can add a reverb as well. Okay. Now the downside to this delay is that 335 milliseconds is the slowest it goes, okay? You can go fast. But the slowest it goes is 335 milliseconds. It doesn't go slower than that. So that's the downside to this delay. And that's the delay pretty much. After this, we can turn this off and then we have the reverb. I want to use reverb one with my sample. I'm going to go back and choose to send my sample to reverb number one. Back to effects. So we have different types of reverb, but they all sound pretty much the same. We have pre-delay, time, diffusion. We have a near option, we have a low frequency damping, and we have a high frequency damping as well. So those are the options for you to shape your reverb. Keep in mind you have more options here, the levels and panning for the effects. Okay, let's close that. Then we have a gate. And we also have a reverse. 